Hello everyone and welcome to your third lesson in digital systems by Logic Design. In this lesson I'm going to sh be showing you how to represent a negative number in binary. So why don't we just get to it. Um, let's take a 4 for example in base 10 which is equal to a 0, 1, 0, 0 in base 2. Um, why did I write this 0? I wrote this 0 not as the next power of two, um, 2 to a power. I wrote this 0 to represent the sign. Um, when you have a 0, it means that negative is off. Which means, essentially, negative, negative, which means positive is on. So we have a positive sign. This I'm using this bit not as a power but I'm using it to represent the sign that goes in front of the rest of the number. Um, so when we get a negative number using one of our systems, which are the systems we're going to use are two's complement and one's complement, um, this is going to be one because it's going to say one equals negative on. One means negative on, which equals negative plus, which equals negative and that might be a little confusing of a way to represent that but that's really the most explanatory way I can consider um, so why don't we I'll talk about the systems a little bit now um, there are two systems that we're going to use they are one's complement and two's complement Now, for one's complement, the process is quite simple. All we have to do is negate negate each bit. For two's complement, the process is slightly more complicated, but still really not that bad. All we're doing in two's complement is following the one's complement step and then adding one. So, um, why don't we try to do this with our with our four here? Let's see. Um, let's do first. Let's convert four to one's complement first. Four and one's complement would be the negation of each bit, which would be one zero one one in base two. Um, now to get to our two's complement, all we're gonna do is simply add one to this. So to get to two's complement, we're gonna add one which gives us, um, when we add one here, you'll notice that this would equal two in a decimal number, but in binary, two is one, zero. So this is gonna come down as a zero, and then your one's gonna be carried. And again, we have the exact same thing here. We have a zero, and our one's gonna be carried, and that's just gonna be a one, because one plus zero is zero, and this is just gonna be a one. Um, so there's our two's complement number. And I hope this illustrates for you how you represent a negative number. These are just standards that people have developed to say, okay, here's a negative number and here's how we're going to just represent that number. And I'll show you how this comes into play with multiplication a little, with um, not multiplication, addition, subtraction, and multiplication a little bit later. Um, so I'll, I'll show you that. Um, let me just show you a uh, quick a few more quick examples of this just to give you a little bit sturdier of a feel for it. Um let's take six, which is zero, one, one, zero, and base two. And this is a positive six because this is zero, indicating a positive sign. Now we're gonna go to one's complement. No, let's just take this one all the way to two. To two's complement first we what? We invert we negate each bit, which is also known as inverting. Um then we add one to the least significant bit. So this again is going to be one zero because we don't have two. This is equal to two actually. Base two is two and base ten. Um, so we're going to get a one here. We're going to get a zero here. One plus zero is one. Zero, one. This right here is your two's complement representation of six. Okay, just one more quick example of this. Um, two's complement is by far more predominant um, than 
one's compliment. It's basically the standard. I'm not exactly sure why, because one's... Oh, I know why, because um, in two's complement, you can represent more numbers. You have a wider range. You can represent all numbers. In one's complement, you can't represent the very last of a, of a um, number that can be represented. Because, like, obviously, if you have zero... If you have zero, one, 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 that's the highest number you can represent with four bits when you're using one as a sign bit. Um, in one's complement, you wouldn't be able to represent that correctly, but in two's complement, you can. Um, let me show you just one more quick example. Let's go, let's take a nice, a really friendly number here. Let's take zero. So let's take zero. zero, zero. I'll, I'll leave it to three bits this time. You can use any number of bits. Equals zero on base 10, as you should know, because all bits are off, all bits are at zero. Um, now, to convert this, first we're going to invert each bit, which is going to be 1, 1, 1. Then, we're going to add 1. And in 2's complement, you're going to see something weird happen here. This is going to be, of course, 1, 0, as I explained. And they're going to carry the 1. This is going to be another 1, 0, as I explained. And then we're going to have another 1, 0. Now, we only... Um, we started with three bits, and we can't digress from that. We have to keep three bits. So we're actually, in one's complement, you wouldn't do this. In one's complement, you would bring it back and add it here. But in two's complement, you are going to dismiss this bit. Actually, in one's complement, you'd never get to this step. If you're doing addition, though, you would. You're going to dismiss this bit. So in the end, you're really just going to have 0, 0, 0, 2, which is the same thing. 0, 0, 0. End of story. Thank you very much.